hey guys welcome back to my channel um and thanks for tuning in okay so today's video is going to be a story time um it, it started on 20, 2015 also i can't remember the exact year but my youngest star was graduating from school um secondary school what some of us would call high school right so fast forward to graduation day you know we went i was wearing this very light color turquoise blue clue i'll insert a picture of the outfit somewhere around okay so you know that they came looking all pink top of them gang you know makeup on fleek outfit on fleek you know stuff like that bear in mind that okay i had finished from the same school so i need really needed to impress you know don't judge me i was young and stupid i've grown a lot since then okay um so fast forward to graduation day right graduation day we went very early secured front seats you know and everything so we all sat down so in like 30 minutes into the graduation ceremony i then felt wetness into my thighs so i was like maybe it's just the heat so but then i just remembered it was rainy season and we're in the coldest one of the coldest parts of the country plateau state nigeria um so i was like okay never mind so like 30 seconds after then i then felt this push and then i was like please god i was like god please please let this not be my period god please 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 don't let this happen to me you know so um i decided to like touch the under of my skirt i just touched it and then i saw blood i started panicking i was like seriously having a panic attack so i told my sister like wow what do we do there was nowhere nearby i could get some pads just to you know change and stuff like that our house was like far away from there so um and then and then graduation ceremony is like this take like three hours I couldn't stand up because I was stained and then I was pretty sure that a lot of people were behind her, were behind me I was in the front seat and that whole house is like 300 people approximately so I turned back to check and then boom I saw a lot of people they're like some people were even standing do you get so um I was like wow I'm doomed today it's finished so I sat there to like three hours later time to jump up I really couldn't stand up and then I had to wait for the whole hall to be cleared and then trust me some people were taking their time so I sat through that agony maybe 30 minutes to an hour more so I lifted myself up on my chair went to a corner cleaned my seat and the seat was white so I had to wash that seat and then I checked behind my skirt from my butt down there was blood stains like that like that so um i had to remove the scarf i was wearing to cover it and then walk to the car and i was like i ended up not taking pictures nothing like i was just like god i just want to go home somebody should just come and drive me home i ended up not taking pictures there nothing i didn't sit and eat with anyone and then i had really had bad cramps i was so mad at myself I'm sure some people saw that blood because I'm not sure I really covered it well. I wanted to die. I wanted the ground to open up and just take me, please. Since then, I've never gone back to that school again in case someone that is still in that school saw that thing. And then since then, I started counting my periods. Count your periods, girls. That's the real tea. So guys, if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and if you ever come up across this video i would love to hear your embarrassing story so we'll leave in the comment section below your embarrassing stories and so that we can share together bye